federal district court initially ruled in favor of the city under qualified immunity, but was overruled by the Eighth Circuit Court of Appeals. Des Moines settled the case with a $125,000 payout to Mr. Robbins. This is a major win for civil rights, and I applaud the Eighth Circuit for recognizing these egregious acts and for taking corrective action. They almost got away with it. As for the department, they need to seriously look at these officers, especially the lieutenants, who recklessly encourage this posse of cops to bully the citizen and violate his civil rights. I'm going to confiscate your camera at this point in time. I don't know your reasoning. You've yet to give me any logical reasoning other than you'd like to challenge authority today. An ignorant posse of police officers almost got away with some major civil rights violations, but justice prevailed. Here's what happened. This is a guy who's come down here for this exact purpose. In May 2018, Mr. Robbins was exercising his First Amendment right to film park police vehicles in Des Moines, Iowa, when he was approached by a suspicious Hi. detective. What are you doing? Taking pictures. Uh, just random things. Okay, just trying to figure out. It's just kind of a little suspicious back here. Is it? Is this Market Street back here? What's that? Is this Market Street back here? Uh, the Market District? Market Street's over this way, another block, I think. Okay. They're doing some redevelopment over here. Okay. I was just trying, just curious. You're just. Are you okay now? Police vehicles, personal police vehicles. We've had. It's just suspicious. Just ask it. Okay. Well, are you are you okay now, or are you still suspicious? What will satisfy your suspicion? I don't know, maybe I just idea and that's why. How, how will that just determine whether or not I'm suspicious? Why? I'm just asking, dude, and I don't understand the difficulty as you're recording me. I don't yeah. get that. Yeah. I just, it's strange that people are back here taking pictures of our cars and I don't. Is it okay though? Is it legal? You're one of those folks, aren't you? Notice how the detective's attitude completely changed when he realized Mr. Robbins was an auditor. He's one of those folks. I'm just asking. How am I challenging something by taking pictures? How how is this? I don't know. That's why I don't know why you're back here taking pictures. You don't know, and you've asked, and I've told you. Yes, I have. The bickering continues until Mr. Robbins is approached by two more officers from behind him. Sorry. What's, what's going on? Hi. Hi. What's you going tell on? tell me what's going on. Well, no, there's I'm somebody called. I'm over here. I mean, this guy's confronted me. Okay. Busted, sir. <coughs> confronted. Confronted. I, I, you're taking pictures of vehicles that are unmarked police vehicles. Right. All I ask you is, why are you taking pictures? You're getting license plates, all that stuff. And you've been asking, rather than just tell me what the pictures but are for. But is it okay? Well, no, because they're unmarked police vehicles. That's why you're back here and it's suspicious. Considering that Mr. Robbins is filming from a public vantage point, it's perfectly legal for him to film the parking lot, including license plates and undercover vehicles. We've had a couple cars stolen from okay. this real lot. We've had cars take, broken into. We got a lot of equipment. To ease your suspicions. An explanation of what you're taking pictures for and why. I, I'm taking pictures because it's perfectly legal for me to do. See, so. that's so that, just illegal. because it's a just because what? it's legal doesn't mean it's not suspicious. Okay, so it's what suspicious. But what but to, will but it take to for you to sir, just so you understand, your responses are what make me even more suspicious because you're immediately don't difficult. You, don't touch you, sir. You get immediately talk. difficult. Consent to any Put your hands up there. I, you don't need to consent to no, that's, that's, that's not against the law. Yes, it is. It is. Okay. Who are you? What's your name? My What's name your is name? Sergeant Curtis. Okay, Sergeant. 4802. What's illegal about it? Here's my badge number. What's illegal about it? What is illegal about is nothing. Okay. But you're acting suspicious. Okay. And then when he asks you if you've got any idea on you, and then you start looking at cars. And you're acting cars? suspicious, yeah. and you're filming cars. cars. The sergeant claims that Mr. Robbins is acting suspiciously, but fails to identify a specific unlawful behavior to base his suspicion, and even agrees that his activity is not unlawful, meaning there is no reason to detain Mr. Robbins. I find that the lieutenant's search here is also unconstitutional because there is no reason to suspect Mr. Robbins of being armed and presently dangerous, which is the legal standard for a Terry pat-down. 
You'd think a senior officer like a lieutenant would have a better understanding of the law. He is who flagged me down. In cars. I didn't. Okay. Let's be no, clear about in cars or not. Okay, I'm talking right now, please. You want well, to talk to her? Yeah, see if you can get a hold of her. How come you don't have any ID on Until you? We the Why do I need ID to be a pedestrian? Mm -hmm. What's your name? What's your name? Lieutenant Leo. Okay, Lieutenant Leo. What's your name? I don't have to give my name. You don't? No. Okay. Actually, he does have to. Yeah, uh, what's your name? I actually do. What's the crime? Suspicious. You're back here that's taking the, that's a crime? As I tried is to that a you. felony or a misdemeanor, sir? Where in the code is, is suspicion a crime? Who crossed you that you have to act like this when all we're doing is asking simple questions because you're taking pictures of unmarked police vehicles, undercover police cars. vehicles, okay, squad so, cars, so you're not area back the here. What? Cite me a code. So what organization do you belong to that oh, making you be long difficult? Long. What is it that you're, what is the issue with you? As far as I know, what is the no issue? organization. I, I don't know. I don't know if it's one of those. Guy. Just go, go, go away. Just go away. You're done. Me? Yeah, go away. You're no. done. No. No, sir. Well, you're not allowed out in front of this building. How's that? I'm out in front of this building. That's right. This is a public sidewalk. Then move on down the sidewalk. It's down a the public road. sidewalk, sir. All Are right. you releasing me? Am I free to go? Yep. Okay, then. I'm free to stay as well. And so are we. Okay. Actually, you're not so free let's to stay. That's loitering. Why is it? You you know what's According to the Des Moines Code of Ordinances, Section 70-37, Standing, Loitering, and Obstructing Persons, no person shall stand, loaf, or loiter upon any sidewalk as to hinder or prevent persons passing thereon. Since Mr. Robbins was not hindering nor intended to hinder traffic along the public sidewalk, I find this claim to be unreasonable. Not, sir. Yes, it is. Because I am not doing anything wrong. Listen, Loitering requires what? Which, are you, what's your name? I'm a lieutenant. What's lieutenant. Your name? What's so your what, what, what I got the body academy camera going. Did you go to? What's your name? What police academy did you you're go to? You're loitering. You're required to give me your information. But what is your loitering, name? It Otherwise, I'm going, you. You're going Otherwise I'm going to arrest you. Otherwise, I'm going to arrest you. Josh, for, if you want, I can just loitering. make a suspicious activity case. We can confiscate the, the camera until we have a reason yeah, for what we're that. doing. Do just get his information. We'll get your information. I'll confiscate the camera until we know you have a legitimate purpose. These officers clearly don't think filming public officials is a legitimate purpose for a camera. What's that? Yes. You're yes. Yes. And yes. And I'm you're about loitering. suspicious activity. Will you're suspicious yes. and you're loitering? We've yes. had cars stolen out of yes. this lot. Okay. It's suspicious. So I get, I have no have problem. Am I detained at this point? Yes, you are yeah, now okay. at this point. Do you have your ID? I don't, sir. Understand interference with official acts? Where I, I do. I absolutely do. Okay. do but you don't have that. This is the last chance you have to give us your information. Okay. Go to Last and this is by because of the threat of arrest. Is it? Absolutely. Yeah. You that. have to give. Yeah, that wasn't that hard. Yeah, that's really easy. That wasn't that hard. Of course it is, but I don't have to if I'm not. If I'm not. You are under that. arrest. Because hey, every hey, single hey, one of you. This is a guy who's come down here for this exact purpose. No, uh, it's, it's, it's not. Angry How? What action can I say that will cause you all to misbehave? misbehave? You. Well, if you're part of this detention, how then you're misbehaving. How have we harmed you, Mr. Robbins? How have we harmed you? You came down here looking for a guy. Although Mr. Robbins did provide ID, it's often better to yield your rights in the short term to have a stronger case in court. But I want to be Why held are you against my will, sir. Can't answer that, can you? You got his name and all that? Yeah, I'm going to make a suspicious activity case. Put the camera on property until he can give me a logical right. reason as to why I got why somebody he's coming down with a camera to take a picture okay. of law enforcement. That's practicing the law. It's not practicing the law. Nope, we're going to investigate though. Okay. Give me my card so you know. I'm All right. confirm whether or not a crime occurred. Okay. I'll let you know whether or not a crime has occurred. This is exactly what the Constitution was intended to protect against. Well, you, you, you. you actually did exactly what you accomplished. You came down here, you made a scene. Mr. Robbins, I'm Detective Youngblood. Okay. Simply was asking you your suspicious nature. You're taking photographs down here. I'm going to confiscate your camera at this point in time. I don't know your reasoning. You've yet to give me any logical reasoning other than you'd like to challenge authority today. Other than that, I don't know what your reasoning or logic is. I hope it is not for nefarious deeds. Um, for that purpose, I'm going to confiscate the camera at this point under a suspicious activity situation. I don't know what else is on your camera. What I may do is when I'm not actively working the homicide that occurred two weeks ago, 
I'll write a search warrant in regards to your camera. I'll then download everything that's on your camera because I don't know what else you've taken pictures of. Given the fact that our police station has been bombed before, we've had two cars stolen from this rear lot in recent days. You're down here among several she undercover that cars that are our safety if people were to know who they are. Car. I don't know what you're recording, but for those purposes, I'll probably download that off of there with a search warrant due to this suspicious activity. Once all that is completed and I have all that information, I'll probably at that point be able to return your camera to you at that point in time, but not until then. Um, given the circumstances, I'm going to advise you of trespass for down here, 25 East First Street. If you have reason to come to the police station, please make arrangements to file a complaint, you'll need to make arrangements first so that we know you're coming because I don't know yet whether you're down here just to challenge authority or if you actively have some reason that you're back here recording personal vehicles of police officers, squad cars, uh, our actions, our movements. Given all these details, do you understand why you were detained? Do you understand why I'm taking your camera at this point in time and what will be coming in the future? I am under no obligation to respond to that. Again, I just was curious what you're down here for. It's a beautiful old building. People take pictures in front of it all the time, but a lot of people don't take pictures of our vehicles and things like that. Thus, the reason for the suspicious nature of what you were doing. I know you're under no obligation to ever respond to me because you would wish to challenge authority today and be a problem. That's my assumption. Since you've given me no other reason to really suspect anything different, I'm gonna assume that's what you're here for. It was just to create this drama. So I'll put all that in the report. At some point I'll be done with your phone and camera and we'll make arrangements to get that back to you. I hope there's nothing else illegal on it or anything suspicious. Are you completely, have you completed your stop? Yes, yep. you're free to go, sir. And you're now trespassed, so you're gonna oh, have to leave. Your keys. I'm gonna go inside. Your keys. Is your vehicle parked down here someplace? Did you drive here? How'd you do that? As a result of this encounter, Mr. Robbins filed a lawsuit claiming First Amendment retaliation, an unreasonable seizure under the Fourth Amendment, and cited the city for failure to properly train its officers. The federal district court initially ruled in favor of the city under qualified immunity, but was overruled by the Eighth Circuit Court of Appeals. Des Moines settled the case with a $125,000 payout to Mr. Robbins. This is a major win for civil rights, and I applaud the Eighth Circuit for recognizing these egregious acts and for taking corrective action, they almost got away with it. As for the department, they need to seriously look at these officers, especially the lieutenants, who recklessly encouraged this posse of cops to bully the citizen and violate his civil rights.